Hey guys, welcome to this tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to create a navigation bar using fireworks. I have a video, I, I built a navigation bar and I, I put links, you know, where they can download it. But person, uh, one of my subscribers, they want to know how to actually uh, build a navigation bar from scratch. So I'm going to make this video today to show you guys how to actually do that. So I'm using Adobe Fireworks CS4. So I'm going to go to new create a new file uh, it's eight it's 900 right now by 100 background is transparent I'm just gonna leave it at that then you want to go up to edit insert and new button or control shift f8 just gonna grab a rectangle just draw a rectangle here I'll make this one 130 I think somewhere around there 130 by 36 uh, that's fine then we go down here where it says solid and change it to gradient, linear gradient. That looks pretty good, but I want to swap these colors around. Um, yeah, let's just swap these colors around. There we go. So that looks pretty good to me. That's what I, that's how I'm gonna leave it. And I want to, I'm just going to drag this to the center of my document, which I have these little lines that tell me when it's center. I'm going to grab some text, put on here. And my text is at gradient as well, and I don't want that. So I'm going to go here and change it from gradient to solid. And my text color, uh, what color should I give this? Let's make it something we can see. It's kind of a dark blue. One other thing to make sure this is set on center right here is going to be important later on when you want to change anything. So I'm just going to name this home. Oops, can't spell. I'm sorry. And I'm just going to drag this, but just drag this down to the center of the button as well. You don't have to be perfect. I just want to give it an idea. Okay, there we go. Now, the, click outside your stage to deselect. I'm going to go down here where it says up, and I'm going to create a overstate. And just click copy up graphic. And what I want to do with these right here, I don't, I'm not going to change the colors. I just want to lower, uh, I just want to make the color a little bit lighter than it is right now. Click add the custom color, click OK. And the black as well. Let's make it a little bit lighter than it is right now. Add to custom color and click OK. So that's my overstate. Double click outside my stage. And okay, I'll just go ahead and do a uh, down state as well. Now for my down state, I'm going to copy up graphic. And I'm going to make this ju uh, just a total different color so you can see exactly what's going on for your down state. So let's create a blue pretty dark blue and a lighter blue for the top you know I'll change our text to white click on your text and change it to white there we go so you can see it so now we're done making buttons so let's just click up here which is stage one if you're in five in CS4 if you're not in CS4 and you're in uh, dream um, um, Adobe whatever eight click on a button should be right here that says done so click on that okay I'm gonna turn this off because I don't want to work with that scale tool okay so now that we have our button made you know we're gonna need more buttons so I'm gonna go over here to my documents if you're in previous version of uh, fireworks it's gonna be library so I'm gonna go to my document library here and then I'm just gonna click on this and drag some more buttons out to the stage I think one more should do it. There we go. Close my documents panel here. I want to align these. So I'm going to select all of them. Go up to my align palette up here. If you don't see yours, go up to windows and choose align. I'm going to click right here. It says position. Align all of them to the top. And distribute. 
evenly. So, there we go. Looks pretty nice to me. Let's close our line palette. Now we want to change out these buttons, give them the, each their own name. So, click on here. And the way to do that, just click the button, go right here and rename it. So you can rename it whatever you want. Let's name this one Downloads. And this one, let's name this one Products. Let's name this one FAQs, which is frequently asked questions. Let's name this portfolio. This one we're going to name about us. And this one, contact. Okay, so now that we created our uh, navigation bar, Let's click outside the stage to deselect and go down here and click Fit Canvas. So now our navigation bar looks really nice right here. Let's preview our navigation bar by hitting F12 on your keyboard. Preview it in the browser. So that's what we created. And if you go see, it has a little bit of rollover state on it. It just goes a little bit lighter. And if you click on it, it goes to your down state, which is your blue state. Same for all of these. And, and when you click one button, it moves away and go to the other you know so it's just a cool and nice way to create uh, a navigation bar so now I'm going to show you how to get this out of here into uh, a folder so I'm going to export this you click file go down to export and I want to go to my documents libraries I think it's in document I have a folder in here called Webmaster. Here we go. And one that's called that. I'm just going to make a new folder inside this folder because let's just right click inside here. I forgot to do that earlier, so I'm make a new folder. I'm going to call this TST Test 1. Now open Test 1. That's where we're going to save the navigation bar. Call it Nav Bar save and that's how you create a navigation bar I'm gonna make another tutorial on how to actually insert this navigation bar into Dreamweaver and you guys can check back for that one so thanks for watching hope this helps hope you're gonna learn something uh, I'll probably make how to create down state not down state but you know drop down menus on these buttons here in fireworks if you guys want to uh, know how to do that just send me a message and I'll definitely make a video how to do that thanks for watching guys hope this helps bye